it's Thursday, and it's, well, a bit late. However, it's always late on Rook on the Rocks. I suppose now is as good a time as any to begin. I'm just gonna give it a moment for our friends on Twitch. get through. How's everybody doing tonight? I don't know about any of you, but I have had one hell of a day. Uh, I took the bus this morning, and I learned that, um, well, uh, here, I'll start from the beginning. I, uh, I'm listening oh, to my pod. Well, well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and... I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look, so a couple of months before I took this job, I, <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, Javier. Sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walsh was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. His brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Okay. Um... Hmm. So, uh... I get up after being up all night, not being able to sleep, uh, nope. I grab some water, uh, and I hear my roommate's alarm going off, and I think, oh, wow, it's like, I, I saw some light out the window, so I'm thinking it's probably like four in the morning, like three if we're gonna be generous, um, 
And I was like, oh, yeah, she was, she must get up way earlier than I thought she did. And then I go into the room, and I, I lay down. I still can't get to sleep. And I check my phone. Turns out, it's 5 in the morning. And I have work at 2, and I have to get out the door by noon. That, that stunk. Um, but I, I set alarm, and I, oof, laggy there for a minute there. Um, I get on the bus, and they've been sending little buses for the, uh, the 12 bus that I usually take. Um, and... I, I, I'm on my way to work, and this, like, sketchy-looking guy sits right next to me. Like, really close. And I go, yeah, sure, okay, whatever. It's a small bus, I'm a big guy. Whatever. And I'm sitting there, and then he, he leaves in a bit of a hurry. Oh, uh, hold that thought for a moment. I take all of the food. No. Um, I'm not going to report the end of the day quite yet. I'm just going to finish my story first. Um, And he gets off in a hurry. And I think nothing of it. I get to work. And I'm like, you know what? I, I got here early. I'll grab something small for lunch. And um, I, I order my food. I'm in line. I'm waiting. And then I reach in my pocket to grab my wallet. And my wallet is gone. And I immediately think, oh no, that, that sketchy guy took my wallet. Hey, I'm out of the ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's blocked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I, got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. Dang it, Delilah. So, I, I immediately think, oh no, that sketchy dude robbed me. When I, I was none the wiser to it, and uh, and I storm into work, for lack of a better word. Um, I, I I call really quick. I shut down my card, and then I call the uh, the 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 Department of uh, Transportation in my city and I don't get through the first time. I call again a second time and the second time I get through. I'm like, hey, uh, I have ridden on your, your bus and I have either dropped my wallet or I have been robbed. And he's like, oh, that's really unfortunate. I'm like, yeah, uh, I was on bus 12. Oh, and he's like, oh, uh, how long did you ride it? I'm like, not even 20 minutes ago. He's like, oh, okay, here, we'll check. Um, 
and I, I I don't hear back from him for a little while, and I finally get uh, he gets back to me, and he's like, okay, so we found your wallet. And I'm like, oh, thank God. So either the dude robbed me and figured out really quickly that I had nothing worth stealing, or I just dropped it like a putz, uh, which is definitely also a possibility. Uh, so yeah. So I'm gonna go wake up early tomorrow, and uh, and pick up my wallet from the bus depot. And then head to work, I guess. Oh, uh, but I should give a, a quick shout out to the. Uh, to the, the little old lady, the little old Chinese lady that serves me lunch. Um, I eat this place like on a semi regular basis. Um, and every so often she'll give me something for free. She'll, she'll, she'll be really nice. Um, mostly because I think it gives her a jolly. Because, okay, so I work at a mall. Um, and right next to this uh, Chinese restaurant is a, another Chinese restaurant that is nearly identical. And even the food that they uh, that they serve. Um, and I think every time that I choose her food over the uh, other one. Yeah, I think it gives her a little bit of a jolly. She's like, ha-ha, take that. Uh, however, there is also a third Chinese restaurant that is, or actually that one would be more of a Japanese restaurant, um, also in that same mall. And, like, they're all within not even, like, 20 feet of each other. <laughs> and it's just silliness. Like we got three Chinese places, but no pizza place. And I'm like, no, I need my pizza. But yeah, um, attach rope to hook. Why am I attaching rope to hook? Head on, attach directly to the forehead. Hey, yoink. Well, that's just a rock. Um, so yeah, that's been my day. I uh, think I've been robbed, and well, um, for those of you have, who have not seen me angry, or have not heard me angry, which would be a pretty good majority of you, I. Uh, I try to keep it professional here. Um, yeah, I become a very scary person when I am upset. But you, like, you hear that all the time. You hear that from everybody. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm really, really scary when I get upset. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm this, I'm that. And then you have people who, who go like, yeah, everybody says that, but I'm really like this. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm just going to be like, yeah. I've been told I'm scary. I think I'm scary. We'll just deal with it. Okay, let's continue this game. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? I took everybody's supplies. No, I didn't. Give me some of that double jerky. 